everyone this is not from this world and welcome to my tutorial session on Daz Studio I'm using Daz Studio 4.2 and today I want to build a prop with you in Daz Studio so a lot of times we may need an item that we can't find or you just don't want to spend the money I want to show you a few tricks as we go through this together to uh, make a prop and uh, we'll go through it troubleshoot it and hopefully uh, make something cool now what I decided to make for you is a wagon wheel and we're gonna make a wagon wheel from scratch in Daz Studio alright so let's get started okay so to start off with we're gonna use the shapes that I had in a previous tutorial so I'm gonna go up to this icon here we're gonna click on it and tonight I'm gonna choose a torus now when I choose a torus remember it's going to give me some options so it's going to give me a diameter of one meter says a minor diameter of 10 centimeters and then it's going to have a hundred segments and a hundred sides well let's open that up and let's let's just look at what that torus looks like so I'm going to hit accept and here is my torus it's basically a ring all right that's pretty cool that's actually a pretty good start right for a wagon wheel All right. okay so we have this torus it has a hundred segments and a hundred sides now just for fun let's go and see what happens when we change that so I'm I'm gonna change this so that I'm gonna create a new torus that has just 10 10 segments 10 sides let's check it out I'm gonna hit accept oh wow look what it did so if I take it see if I change those those tori I guess I'm getting a completely different shape so you can play around with that kind of thing what's really cool is for a wheel I actually really like that we're gonna keep these uh, together like this so I mean that looks pretty cool all right now uh, we need to uh, create some spokes so it looks like the way that I'm building this when I made that second torus with only 10 segments it gave me kind of this uh, octagon shape so, what so let's go ahead and create a cylinder so with this cylinder um, let's keep out a hundred segments hundred sides that should make it really round you can see there's my cylinder now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cylinder I'm gonna rotate it so I'm gonna rotate it see I can I can come over here in my parameters and you know there's these slide dials so I can rotate it or I can just click on the number and type it in negative 90 because I want it at 90 degrees alright we can move this over now I need to shrink it right so I'm gonna to go to scale I'm gonna shrink this down to the size of a wagon wheel spoke alright so if you think that is a, a good size for the spoke alright so I shrunk it down to the right diameter obviously it's really short so what we need to do is we need to go to the Y scale and see I can extend it out now uh, I can move it into position when it's the right length it needs to be a little bit longer it looks like 
can change my view and we can rotate it. Let's see here, let's rotate it so that it is in the right spot. Okay, so see now I have a wagon wheel spoke but I want more now here is the really cool thing I could go back to the cylinder make another cylinder blah 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 I don't have to do that when I learned this little trick it changed my dad's life because I use it so much these days if I click on that cylinder I can make more spokes simply by coming up here to edit duplicate duplicate node hierarchies and when I hit that it's gonna duplicate whatever I had selected so see now I have two now the trick is to rotate this thing All right, so you can see I'm moving the second one into position. All right. Now I need another spoke. So now I'm going to hit that. Select one of my cylinders. Go to Edit, Duplicate duplicate node hierarchies and once again I'm making another exact spoke Okay, now, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, right? I'm, certainly more details I could add in, but we need a center uh, spoke, so I'm gonna head back to my uh, shapes. We're gonna create another cylinder here, and Actually, let's create another torus, and I'll show you what we can do. So if I create another torus, um, this one I do want at 100 segments, 100 sides, and, see, so yeah, oops, always hit undo. Select that torus, raise it up. Okay, but now I'm going to shrink this one because we're going to create the center. And I'm going to take this and make a Y. So basically, see, I'm making a hollow cylinder. Pretty darn cool. Um, we can thicken it up a little bit, maybe. And then I can take it, drop it down into that that looks pretty good and then um, you know I don't like that center there are several things we could do with that center but what I'm gonna do to just kinda hide that all the spokes are going through it is I am gonna make a cylinder of 100 sides looks good it's huge shrink it whoops did the same thing I always do this. You got to make sure you select the thing that you just created. I was still on that torus, so I was moving it. Um, but let's scale this down. 
And see, I can scale this down. Let's shorten it up, make it stubby. And see, I can put it inside that so it's hiding, hiding that uh, the, the spokes. Maybe increase its diameter just a hair. Look at that. And I have a uh, I have a wagon wheel. Pretty cool. Okay, so like I was showing you in that previous tutorial, well, now that I have this wagon wheel, um, we can color it. So let's uh, let's think about this. Each thing. Each shape that I created, we can texture. So for example, I can go into this torus that had the 10 by 10 size. I'm gonna scroll down to my surfaces, go to base, hit the base color, go to browse, and I've got all these different textures saved that I found off the internet. Let's make that Taurus, this looks like a good color, let's see. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, now I can also play around my original Taurus. Uh, maybe, maybe it would look good with the same. Maybe it would look good with a different one. Let's, let's check it out. Okay, so it was this one that I chose. All right, you know that that looks that looks pretty cool. For each of my spokes, I probably want a different. You know, we we want to make this wagon wheel have some texture to it for sure. So I'm not going to be using that same one. Let's use the lighter one. Wow, look at that. Now I can select on each one of these and just create that same texture. my wagon wheel. Now the the center, the hub, um, I'm going to select that. Let's let's do something different with that. That's going to be probably a metal, right? So I can choose. I do have this rust. Let's check out what that looks like. That's pretty crazy. And then the center, we could do the same with it just to give it some texture. We don't want to keep it just this white color that the default is. And there we go. So now I have created a wheel. Now there's one trick here is these are all separate, right? I, I, I want the wheel to be one thing. So uh, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can make it a group like I showed you in the other video, but I don't like that idea. What I want to do is I kind of want to make this one thing. And so to do that, I want to pick the center of the shape. So for me, the this hub, this torus that's the hub, it's torus three is going to be kind of the the centerpiece of the wheel. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take everything else and pull it into this torus 3. Right? So for example, I can click and do a uh, shift and click on all of those objects and just drag it into Taurus 3. Now there's this cylinder here that was left over that I've got to drag in there too. Okay, now all of that 
is under torus 3 and if I select torus 3 see now I can treat it as one object I can move it raise it up and so on okay so now I have my wheel now let's say you know I'm making a wagon so I need four wheels well <clears throat> all I got to do is select the whole thing Taurus 3 right if I select it I can also rename it I can rename it here <clears throat> and I'm gonna do that because Taurus 3 is a stupid name for a wheel so I'm just gonna name it wheel okay now if I select that wheel again if I go to come up here to edit duplicate duplicate node hierarchies <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an entire duplicate wheel isn't this badass so see now I've got two wheels alright and I mean I can add uh, a base to make a wagon I can do whatever keep going on this pretty cool now this is still really a, a basic feature but uh, you know it works to make things you can make your own props in Daz Studio so you can see you know it, it may have some work that I need to do with the spokes uh, with you know some of the textures but pretty darn cool I think all right, well, I hope you learned something with this, and uh, leave comments, let me know what you think, and I will catch you next time. Have a